Big news coming from the NFL related to COVID and it has societal implications. This is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc at SixScore.com, Sports Injury Central. Let me reiterate, this is not my news. This is the NFL news. Dr. Alan Sills from the NFL says that uh, they have not seen asymptomatic people spreading COVID throughout the NFL facilities. This is a significant departure from how we have handled public policy in this country. And that is the basis for the NFL stopping screening testing and only going with symptomatic testing. In a big article in an interview, there are some key quotes from Dr. Sills. These are his words. Now credit to the NFL that they've spent a lot of money and time and they have a closed system where they can get full compliance to testing and tracing and they have tracking, et cetera. So it is a little mini laboratory for all to learn from. But here's uh, what he says, quote, I think all of our concern about asymptomatic spread has been going down based on what we've been seeing through the past several months. We've got a handful of symptomatic people. Can I tell you tonight that there's never been a case when someone without symptoms passes it on to someone else? No, of course I can't. But what I can say to you is that it is very, very tiny fraction of the overall problem, if it exists at all. Clearly, if you wanna look at the overall pattern and concern about transmission, it is not being driven by people who have no idea they are infected and they are infecting scores of others. This is being driven by people with symptoms and exposures during the symptomatic period. This is very significant. That's not how public policy has been woven to date. I'm not making editorial comment one way or the other. This is the NFL's words based on its data. This would be the second huge pro proclamation to come from the NFL. Last year and to date, they have been saying that there has yet to be a single case of on-field transmission from one player to another, from blocking, tackling, etc., leading to indicate that between their sc screening efforts and testing efforts, but also the fact that transient exposure doesn't transmit the virus is significant. If you pair that data with what they're saying now, asymptomatic spread really doesn't exist. It opens the door to changing public policy, changing the way sports leagues, the NBA, the NFL itself deals with it, perhaps opening the door for asymptomatic COVID individuals to play. Not to say they can't possibly spread it, but it doesn't seem to be the way per what the NFL is saying. So what's next? I call on the NFL to open up its gates, show its data, show its science, show its logic and how it came to this conclusion to a panel of independent epidemiologists, infectious disease specialists, immunologists, and see if it passed mustard. Maybe we can learn something from the NFL here in terms of how the disease is spread uh, based on Dr. Sills and their comments. Let me tell you, this news isn't big enough in my impression. It seminally changes the way that we potentially might look at COVID. I hope it's true. Let's let the science bear out and maybe the NFL can take a lead here for societal good as well. This is Dr. David Chow, Pro Football Doc for Sports Injury Central. Thanks for watching.